Without a reliable leak detection system, you risk being unaware of potential issues and could face thousands of dollars in water damage. In today's video, I'll equip you with essential information to prevent potential water damage. I'll start with a demonstration of the Zeus Titan Valve Actuator, which is a wireless Z-Wave device that automatically shuts off your water main when a leak is detected. I'll also share details on the sensors I use for leak detection and guide you through setting up leak monitoring within the SmartThings Home Monitor. Finally, I'll show you how to easily obtain the custom edge driver for the Titan Valve Actuator. Shortly after installing my Zeus Valve Actuator, my wife tested a handheld shower head designed for a tub faucet. She tested it on our bathroom sink faucet where the rubber coupling didn't fit securely. This caused water to shoot back towards the small hole that houses the drain stopper stem, quickly resulting in water under the sink. Fortunately, the third reality leak sensor detected the water, triggering alarms and notifications on our echo devices. Simultaneously, the Zeus valve actuator shut off the water main. While this mishap was unplanned, it proved to be an excellent test of our SmartThings leak detection capabilities. If you're curious about the water leak sensors I use, I rely both on the third reality sensor and AOTEX water leak sensor, as both perform exceptionally well. The third reality sensor also features a built-in audible alarm, which is handy for pinpointing the source of the leak. Currently, I have five leak sensors strategically placed under my bathroom sinks, kitchen sink, near my water heater, and at my sump pump. The Titan valve actuator and leak sensors are easily set up within the SmartThings app. When setting them up, you want to go to the Life tab, which is the center bottom link and then you want to tap on home monitor next tap on the settings cog at the top tap on the leaks then tap on setup leak sensors in this section you want to go down to where it says select leak sensors and here's where you opt for the sensors that you want to use within leak detection then you'll hit done and back out of that go back again and now you want to set up the response so in here you have the option to close valves. Here's where you select the Zeus water main valve, hit done, and then you can turn off devices, sound alarms or sirens, set the duration of those sirens. You can also turn on lights and down at the bottom you can send text messages. And when you're all done with that, then you can back out of here. So I've also set up SmartThings routines for each leak sensor, which triggers two key actions. First, they use virtual switches to enable Alexa routines, allowing the Echo devices to make announcements that specify the leak's location. Additionally, these routines send text messages to our mobile phones to ensure that we're promptly informed. The Titan valve actuator performs best with the official edge driver. An acquaintance of mine recently used the standard Z-Wave valve driver from the SmartThings beta channel, which caused the valve status within the SmartThings app to be reversed, showing closed when it was actually open and vice versa. While Zeus offers the edge driver and installation instructions on their website, it can be very challenging to locate. However, if you've purchased my SmartThings Edge Driver package, you'll have easy access to the official Zeus Custom Edge Driver. This driver ensures seamless integration and optimizes the valve's functionality within your SmartThings app. For those interested in accessing Zeus drivers, click the link in the description to visit my website. My $10 driver package includes over 30 instructional articles which contain installation instructions and channel links for brands like Zeus, Smartwings, Acara, Third Reality, Ring Alarm, Enerwave, Dome, and more. If you're interested in purchasing any of the devices reviewed in today's video, you can find them in my Amazon store. I provided links to my store in the description below. Also, if you'd like to discover why I recommend Acara's P1 Zigbee sensor over the Acara P2 Matter sensor, check out the video on my left where I give you four compelling reasons why the Acara P1 is the better choice for your smart home. And if you're looking for a complete guide on creating SmartThings virtual switches to control actions within Alexa, the video on your right has you covered. See you in those videos.